Today on Golf Getaway, I'm at Sanctuary Golf Resort in Bunbury, Western Australia. Located just 90 minutes south of Perth in the heart of the Geograph Wine Region. Co-owner Rob McGuire will be showing me around and I'll meet Snagman as he introduces me to his revolutionary and very effective way of learning golf. Hi there, I'm Andrew Miramacoom. And I'm Rob McGuell, General Manager of the Sanctuary Golf Resort. Sanctuary Golf Resort was designed by Michael Coates and is a 5,902 metre par 72 championship golf course located in Bunbury, Western Australia. Sanctuary Resort is set amongst rolling green lawns, tranquil lakes and tropical gardens surrounding a resort pool and heated spa. This championship golf course will play host to next year's Australian Veterans Championships. OK, let's go, Andrew. I'll show you the golf course because I need to win some money. Huh? Might be in some trouble here. We're on the first. Beautiful 358 metre par four. And with me is Rob McGrail. He's the co-owner and general manager of the Sanctuary Golf Resort. Rob, how'd you come to uh, own your own golf course? Well, it's a long story, Andrew. I came originally from the uh, wheat belt, wheat farmer, wheat sheep farmer, came to Bunbury 1980 and uh, 2002 the resort was for sale and a few of my mates sort of discussed it and thought what a great idea let's get involved in the golf business. Every golfer's dream. Yeah well it does have its moments. And I believe you won the Holden Scramble yes. this year. Yes uh, yeah my three sons and I just came back from Queensland where we uh, won the national championship so it's pretty good. So I've got my work cut out we obviously know the place we're on the 358 metre par four first dog legs to the left bunkers on the left and even water up on, on the left near the green. So that tree down there is a good target? Yep, don't go too far though. All right, well let's have a good day and uh, what are we gonna put on? A couple of room nights, yeah? Why not? Straight at the tree. Shut up. Nice chip, Rob. Okay, thank you. Putting for par. Yep. Hey, just before you do, tell me who, who are the types of people you get down here at Sanctuary Golf Resort? Well, we get a lot of locals who play. It's a public course as well as a membership course, but a lot of visitors and golf groups from all around Western Australia, uh, some interstate, and starting to get a few people coming from Asia, Southeast Asia, and even far away as China. Really? I can see why. It's beautiful so far. Yeah. For the par. Oh, ah. you can have that one. Hey? I'm one up, mate. One up with it. Had to work that After out. one. <laughs> I can see what's going to happen here. <laughs> <laughs> we're at the fifth. We're already at the hardest hole. Rob's caught me up, so we're all square. Now, the reason this is the hardest hole, and obviously Sanctuary Resort's famous for it, is the water. We have water on the left, or wetlands on the left. We've got water on the right. And if you go long on the fairway down there over the bunker, guess what? We've got water. So what are we gonna do, Rob? <laughs> Try using your putter. Um, obviously, try and just be right of the bunker. If you wanna go over it, you can take a chance going over it, but don't wanna draw it to the left. And uh, yeah, anywhere just to the right of the bunker is perfect. And I hear the green's a bit tricky as well. Yeah, the green's been renowned for people hitting it and just hitting a bit of backspin and spinning back into the water again, so. Well, so there you go. It's all good. Good shot. Well, that's good shape. Great shot. Nice shot. Might be the hardest hole, Rob, but probably one of the most beautiful with all that water. Yeah, it's very relaxing and we do get a lot of uh, bird life and waterfowls and all sorts of birds during the summertime especially. Oh, they must love it. For the par. Oh. Good putt. Oh, unlucky. Have that. Thank you. We're still square though, mate. Well, yeah, it's good. Parted as well. Yeah, I know.
Chuck. Take a shot. Oh, easy. Easy. It's got to find a harder game, really. We're still square, though, mate. I can't. That's a tight battle out It is. It is. I'm with Ron Trezice, AKA Snagman or Snagaroo. He's the distributor of snag golf here in Australia. And Ron, it, it's kind of fitting you're on the show because I get a lot of emails from, uh, from the ladies or the mothers in particular. They want to get their kids into golf, but they see it as quite um, daunting, so, should I say elitist, and, and doesn't look like a lot of fun for young kids. So you've got a solution for them. We have, we hope we have anyway. Uh, golf, um Traditionally, it can only be played at the golf club. Um, you have to buy expensive equipment. It's a very difficult game to, to pick up, uh, especially for the young kids. And we find also with the ladies, who would love to have a game, but they're so daunted about getting that ball off the tee. Um, so uh, with the snag equipment allows people to learn the game with fun involved, and um, it, it's, it, it's all subconscious. So how does it work, Ron? Well, let me show you. Mark Parry, the professional at the Sanctuary Golf Resort, is going to demonstrate the four disciplines that we adopt when we go to a school program. The first is rolling. We don't say putting as in normal golf language. We're rolling the ball. Generally, we will get them to roll the ball. That's a snag. Well done. He now uses the roller. Oh, very good. Very good again. We then go from rolling to chipping and we use a launcher, and that is chipped off a launching pad. It has a large head on the equipment. The ball is large, as you can see, and it's on a tee. So it's quite easy to get contact. That's a chipping exercise. We then are pitching the ball to the bullseye. So this is a longer shot, obviously. Oh, he nearly got it. It's not too bad. His brother's a great golfer. Is that Craig? <laughs> Not Craig. <laughs> and now we're going to launch one. And we'll launch one over the top of the carts. Oh, so the most you can hit this ball is about 50 metres. So it's very safe to use. We can play it in parks, on the school grounds, on the beach. Um, and that small demonstration gives you an idea of the, the program that we take to the schools. And the kids have fun. Oh. Bet you've had some great players play this course, Rob. Yeah, over the years we've had some, uh, some good players. Uh, Ian Baker Finch played here in the early days, and Craig Parry and uh, Robert Allenby. And last couple of years we've had some ladies pro-ams here. Um, Stacey Ketting was here just before she went on the European Tour last year and had her first European success. Well, we're on the ninth. It's a par four, it's a 303 metre hole. It's, a, it's uphill, so it plays a lot longer than normal and often plays into the prevailing wind. So what are we going to do, mate? Are we going to have a crack at that bunker or...? Yeah, the bunker just comes into play probably, but it uh, depends how well you hit it. All right, well, it's your lead. We're still square. Great shot. Just right of the bunker. Nice. Perfect. Wouldn't that be right? Landed in the bunker, 155 out, uphill green, into the wind. What am I going to do, Rob? I've got a six iron, mate. Am I going to go for it? Well, if I was you, mate, I'd just take it easy and play safe to the front of the green. With a six, I'm going to have a crack. Good luck. I'll be either score be, or you one down? I'll either be one up or one down <laughs> by the end of it. Good shot. Just to the front of the green. <laughs> Great advice, Rob. Good to Great. see you listen. Great advice. <laughs> well, nice shot. Okay, bad luck, Andrews. Great shot out of the bunker, but told you it's a long hole. Bit optimistic. Three putts didn't help me. No, well, never mind. For the one up. Let's go and have a drink. Well, good idea. Your shout, mate, because you're the owner. <laughs> Hi, Andrew. This is my favourite hole here, number 12. 
Reason being, lost a bit of distance. So now bunkers don't come into play for me, but I've still got a nice short shot in. You don't want to duck hook it either, mate. There's a bit of water there. Oh, nice shot. Magic. Magic. Good shot. Good shot. Woo. They should start their own beach at Sanctuary Golf Resort. They've got enough water, and they've certainly got enough sand. More sand. There you go, Andrew. Sometimes it pays to be a bit shorter off the tee. Uh, why is that, Rob? Well, I'm here for two. You've had a couple in the war zone. So, you know, as you get older, you get more wiser. There's uh, 14 bunkers out there. Yeah, true. Oh, he's two up. Charging away with it. I've got no hope. Never mind. <laughs> You'll get old one day. I'm with Bill Watchman, the head greenkeeper here at Sanctuary Golf Resort. He's been here for over 20 years. Bill, do they give you a gold watch for that? Not yet, but I guess they will in time. I had the uh, 20th uh, lunch the other day, so I guess in time I'll get something. <laughs> I'll look after you. Yes. Now, Bill, you've obviously seen some significant changes over the last 20 years on the golf course. Yeah, it has. It originally started off as a dairy farm and part of it was a swamp, so it's come a long way from then. It was, um, you know, we had to clear fill the whole place and uh, re developed from a swamp on a farm, basically. So what do you do in that situation? You chuck in a whole lot of dirt from elsewhere or you, you lift it from other well, areas? Well, we used, or? there was some big sand hills in the area and we um, used them for cut and fill. Some of the low areas were built up and the other higher areas cut down. Uh, a lot of this fill was actually used for the residential area. So it was a cut and fill, basically. There was no soil carted in. Yep. It was just all local sand used. Do you, on site. do you have any issues with water or obviously with all the lakes and that out there it shouldn't be a problem? No, we have, we have uh, that problem is too much water in the winter but uh, in the original design we had to have about 20% of the course remain as water or wetlands for the birds and that. That was one of the species they put on us in the original yep. design days. But the, there is a lot of lakes and which they don't cause any problem with us and the golfers get used to them and they're just a good feature of the course. And what's the secret to a great golf course? Oh, I think it has to be playable for all standards and enjoyable for all people, not just the really good golfers. Have you found a few balls in those lakes? They get thousands of them. We actually have a boat that does dive for them and he gets thousands out of them. And 20 years, what's that? What's the plan for the next 20? Well. I'll probably put in another 12 months hard work and then wind down a bit. We're on camera, mate. Do you want to say that? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll tell the boss later. Thanks, Bill, for coming on Golf Getaway. Easy, easy, hey? That must make you three up now, Rob. Okay. We've come to the 16th, the signature hole. It's a 487 metre par five. And Rob, they tell me it's very unique, this hole. It certainly is, Andrew. It's um, a bit of a risk reward hole. We've got an island in the middle, about 245 metre carry, if you want to have a go at it. And then there's about another 170 to carry the next lot of water, so. Safeway is short on the island, on the green. So we're going island hopping. Good luck. <laughs> like in Fiji, yeah? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's the right shot. Great drive, Rob, straight down the middle. Yeah, it's not too bad here. From here, uh, Andrew, I've got some chance of getting over the island. So it's just far enough down, so um, have a go at it. 
What do you reckon, about 160 to carry it? Uh, 160, 170 to carry the next lot of water, yeah. Okay, Other good side. Luck. Oh, absolutely caned it. Go. That's the way. Look at that, hey. Definitely a thinking man's hole, that one, Rob. You've really got a, it's a risk reward too, isn't it? Yeah, definitely risk reward. Play it well and you can really have a good round or you can destroy a good round. For the bird? Yeah. For the bird. Part. Well done. That must make us all square going with two to go. Can't believe it. Oh, nice Did shot. He? Good shot. Yep. Gee, look at that break. This hole does always break a lot. Yeah. Funny how some holes break more than others. Feeds the water. Yeah. It's come down to the 18th as it normally does. We've got water on the left, water on the right. It's a beautiful 380 metre par four. Looks like it's caught a few people in its time though, Rob. Yeah, it's a tough finishing hole. I wouldn't like to be in your shoes here trying to win this hole to win the match. Local knowledge is going to help with this one, isn't it? So you're going to give me any tips? Uh, hit it straight and long. Same as any other <laughs> hole, yeah. <laughs> Oops, that could be wet. Yeah, very nice, mate. Well, Rob, young mirror, succumb to the older, wiser fella and the water. I think you might have me here. Oh well, you've done well. Good shot. Oh, good shot. Lovely shot. This for the win. Okay. Oh, he's played here before, eh? Thanks for showing me around, Rob. Much appreciated, Good mate. Work. Great pleasure. Easy money, really. <laughs> well, Rob, you've been part of the furniture here for many a year, and obviously being a co-owner, you, you must love the place. Yeah, I do, Andrew. I've uh, been here seven years now. The course has developed um, significantly in that time, and now it's a great golf course, a great place to work. And it started out as a wetlands? Yeah, it was all wetlands down the bottom, and they developed it all, uh, started that back in the early 90s. And uh, yeah, it's developed to be what it is today with the trees and some great nick. You know what I love, and it's, I probably shouldn't say it, but there's a lot of water out there, but it makes it visually very, very spectacular, doesn't it? A lot of sand, as, as we saw out there. Wildlife everywhere, a lot of birds. And the best thing is you can be in your room, and honestly, you could roll out your door, and you're pretty much on the first, don't you? Oh, absolutely, and that's where we get a lot of guests, a lot of golf groups come down from all over the place, and hopefully that's why they enjoy it. And, you know, we try and create a good atmosphere where everyone goes away having had a good weekend. Well, we had a go, uh, good game out there. Here's to Sanctuary Golf Resort. Cheers. Cheers. Well, there it is. I'm Andrew Mira McComb. And I'm Rob McGuell. Thanks for watching Golf Getaway at Sanctuary Golf Resort. For more videos, special offers and information, go to golfgetaway.com.au or like us at facebook.com forward slash golfgetawaytv. See you soon.